Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Oliver Moy, and I'm here with my best friends. Yeah! yeah. 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 We're, best friends. Yeah. We're best friends. It's We're best friends. Yeah. We're best friends. We're best friends. We're best friends. We're actually brothers since you know Sebastian Moy is not here, man. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, Darren Moy. This is Darren Moy, this is Justin Moy, Ryan Moy, Reggie Moy, Kane Moy. Uh, the other Moy boy, the other Moy boy couldn't make it because uh, he's sleeping right now. Yeah. Whack. All right, for this video, we're going to be talking about relationships and girls. I've never been in a relationship. Oh, that's Cap. No, no, no. What about Pumpkin? That's the situation. No, I never called her my girlfriend. You're an asshole. But you were in love with her, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, so I tweeted out to you guys one hour ago, and we have over a thousand questions to answer. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, Oliver Moore. You're the Oliver Moore. Yeah, Oliver Moy, bro. <laughs> 10 mil on TikTok. He's actually loving it. My fault, my fault. He's loving me only on TikTok. Okay. We're all celebrating once we all hit the million. Dang, dang. Right, bro. What are. You haven't hit a million? <laughs> What are three qualities you say your girlfriend must have? Honesty, loyalty, and communication. You gotta be uh, self-driven, independent. Um, mm -hmm. Those are good ones. That was two. But those are like one though. Yeah. And I'm thinking, man, hold on, man. You gotta be uh, out of that. <laughs> I did not say that. I remember you telling me that. <laughs> Number two! Because you're in the camera, you will Okay, yeah, you want to lie? She got a fatty, bro. Yeah. She has to have, like, the similar view of embarrassment. And, uh. <laughs> That's gonna be a hard one. I don't know why I lie, bro. Honesty doesn't say lies and tells the truth. That's the same thing, you know? What the fuck, you know? Honesty doesn't tell a lie. Yeah. And says the truth. <laughs> That's what you didn't say. Just say Oh, um. Humor. Toxic. Humor. Honest. Toxic. <laughs> Toxic. Humor, honesty, and communication. So what are you smiling the whole time? Uh, <laughs> You're like, I'm the same. You gotta have the drive. Power. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think it's about the interest, but it's about the values that they have. That's way more important than a girl right now. So morals. Interest, so morals. I used to think interests are like more important. Like we have the same interests, we enjoy the same things. But I've come it's to realize right? that right. the values that you have, that you share, are way more important. Facts. I do agree. She gotta be like family oriented. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. That's a good one. Oh, and I have to have like shit a good moral ah, in my life. Ah, I to be a good person. Or are using me. very big vocabularies. Vocabulary. <laughs> Vocabulary. Vocabulary. You want wing stops? I thought we were family. I we were family, man. Hey, yo. Chill out, man. <laughs> you know it's bad when Reggie's correcting you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was the biggest lesson you learned from your worst breakup? Never had a breakup. Never had a breakup. Never had a breakup. Don't trust anyone. If you don't cheat on them, they'll cheat on you. What the? Oh I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Look biggest, at the red flags. Don't dismiss them. The biggest thing for me is uh, miscommunication. Um, this last one that I had it was there was a lot of like problems because we weren't communicating right. Little things matter. Yes, I can say that. It's the little things that matter. <laughs> that will make you smile. That will, that will make your day. Like you know, like outfit of the day photos. It's such a small thing, but I like them. How do you feel about your girlfriend being around other girls and guys? Does it bother you, and are you the jealous type? Depends on the situation. Name the situation. If it's one on one, is that hell not? Where's that run? Nah, even the old ones, I still get jealous. But uh, it's like, it's my own feelings. I don't like to put it into a relationship if it's like. You know, I like to give the girl like as much freedom. If it's about girls, like if you're hanging out with girls and stuff, I, I don't really, yeah, I don't really mind. Um, if it's like guys and I don't know the guys, then yeah, I think I would, my blood would boil a little bit. I mean, if we stay communicated throughout the time, like, and you say, hey, I'm doing fine, I'm safe, then I feel like I would be a lot more stressed. Nah, it still don't matter, bro. But <laughs> but if you're hanging out with like guys I don't know, then I think. I wouldn't be so much jealous. Yes, I would be a little jealous, but I'll probably like be concerned of your safety more. Oh, for sure. And you know, like some guys, they they throw themselves onto you know girls, and 
I wouldn't want my girlfriend to be in a position where she would have to say no or, you know, let's act it out. <laughs> <laughs> what is a major red flag for a girl to have? Partying a lot, yeah. I would say. Because if she's partying a lot, then she's probably not focusing so much on her, you know, not, per, like her career really and her future. Really. If she partied a lot, as in like she can't keep a balance between like her social life and her like actual, you know, personal life. If she doesn't love her mom. That's a red flag. Yeah, not mm -hmm. good. Not family function. If she's a high falling, like not like when she's falling a lot of dudes. Keep it low. You look at that stuff. I've never looked through like a girl's phone. Really I look at the comments. Bro. Really? Yeah, that's, that's even. Yeah. No, that's I look at. Works. No, I look at the comments and then if like I don't care, but like I look at their comments if she, they reply with something like flirting back or something. I'm like, oh. Shit. Would you rather have a girlfriend who's had many relationships or a girlfriend that has not? Many no, 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 not absolutely. No, 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 no. I like to learn together. I've ever been your first. Yeah, together. I like together. to experience things together. I've ever your first time in my whole life. You know, like <laughs> just something small, like experience, like the first time camping together, or like driving movies, stuff like that. You know, when you're learning uh, your relationship together, you both grow to learn towards the same relationship path. That is great, but if you are in past relationships, you learn that way. So. Yeah, it's think about harder. it. It's a you little harder. Girl on the date, and then they, they just say, "Oh shoot, my ex took me here." Man, but, oh yeah. Man. But a girl with some experience, then she'll be able to know, you know, what to do in situations in a relationship that, you know, maybe you some experience, right? experience with them. Yeah, you'll know with the right experience. It could be obviously with them, but not for you. It didn't work out for her. Well, what if um, it's about like showing her uh, support? If she's had many relationships in the past, then she might know how to show you support through your careers and your life. But, but if she has had no relationship, then she might not know. She would just have to learn those things. But so why can't y'all just learn through with it? Like, learn together. Being in a relationship, you got to overcome a lot of, like, you know, up and downs. And that's how, like, you keep the bond strong in mm. a relationship. So if you experience things the first time together, and that will be a lot more, like, uh, you will cherish the memories more than that. like somebody like she already experienced something. It's called relationship and relationships for a reason. That makes sense, bro. <laughs> relationships <laughs> and relationships. Yeah. As in multiple like families. Yeah. What would you do if your girl doesn't like your best friends? Oh, oh that, that sucks, bro. Oh, that sucks. That would be, that would be my saying to her. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't really do anything about you that. You can't do much. Looking at it from the other way around, if my best friends didn't like my girlfriend, then. Um, I would actually take that into big consideration because I mean these guys they like they like everyone So if they don't like my girlfriend, <laughs> then there's got to be a good reason why they don't like them. there's also a thing called um, blind love mm -hmm. Ooh, I got lost in that. Anything they do it could hurt you But you kind of push past that you, you put it in the back of your brain because you love them so much and you look at only the positive things in the relationship and you know sometimes it is healthy to look at the negative things in your relationship so that you're able to I guess learn from those things. It's not like a simp. Oh, being a simp. Yeah, there's not wrong with being a simp. But... Do you like holding hands in public? Yes. 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 Do you like hugging in public? Yes. 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 Do you like kissing in public? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not making out. Uh, not making out, but like a, a little peck. Little peck. Like yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. I feel like a whole like make out is just not nah, make out ain't because it's like school hallways. Yeah, when I, when I see someone doing that, if they're like close to me, I'm just like, oh man, that's all, man. Just like. A, mm. I done it once. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you fall out of love? Yeah, lack, lack of, of lack of effort of yeah. the other party. <laughs> lack of communication, arguing like almost every day. Yeah. We should be like that. So when it's not enjoyable anymore. Yeah, basically. Do you guys think that you can fall in love, fall out of love, and fall back in love with the same person? Yes. 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 Like personally, I will never go back with my ex. Me neither. The only reason why I would fall out of love if they are dishonest and cheat. And why would I want to get back with them if they cheated in the first place? Exactly. That'd be stupid. We are old enough to know what's right and what's wrong. Are we, Darren? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Have you ever been caught having sex? <laughs> yes. No. Yama day! Yama day! No, we, we, just, we, we dressed up but we never like to accept it. Arigato, arigato! Thank you for food! <laughs> you did say, oh, what type of jitsu are you doing? I said, what are you talking about? She said, I just did the ga ga jitsu on you. <laughs> I was like, what the? <laughs> bro, I would have got turned so off. Funny, bro. Bro. I, I, I don't want to do the look. <laughs> 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 Do you think it would be hard to balance a life with the boys and also a relationship? No. Yes. 
No, no, no. I say yes. I'm way too busy. That's why I'm not in a relationship. No, I'm pretty good at balancing, to be honest. Once I do get in a relationship, uh, I want to make sure that I have enough time I can, you know, focus on on the relationship because it's not even a relationship if I'm not even focused in it. What is your biggest worries about relationships? Dishonesty. Cheating, for sure. Heartbreak. Same time waste. Uh, time waste, really? Mm. I wouldn't say time waste. I, I don't think it's a... It's not... Your time is not wasted, but it's the experience. Yeah. You can think um, communication, insecurity. Yeah, same as before. Dishonesty, cheating. Not knowing their true intention of them being in the relationship. Are they here for personal gain? Uh, monetary value? Money? I don't know. Or are they here because they actually enjoy spending time with me? In your opinion, what does it mean to be good in bed? Shoot. No. If she asks you for anime sex, that's how you know you're in it. Alright. My boyfriend and I broke up. He said he wants to just be friends. Now he wants to be my boyfriend again. What should I do? Fuck that boy. Say no. Yeah. Say no, exactly. Ain't no way. He, he using you, bro. I'd say wait a while, like at least a year, nah. to see how much he matures nah. and grows up. Nah. Like, what if they Sorry, broke? Girl. What if they broke up because they had to do long distance? And you're like, I can't handle long distance. They came back, and you're like, Hey, I want to be boyfriend. Again. Oh, I of course, right. yeah. Nah. But if it's like something you cheated on, then nah. if you really like each other, long distance isn't a problem. Do you mind if a girl has skin problems such as acne? No, no, no. It's natural, so of course, of course, I don't mind. I have skin natural. problems myself. Natural. Yeah, everyone goes through it and everyone has it, so why would we care? Thank you. Exactly. Would you want yourself or your girlfriend to make the first move? I want the girl to make the move first. You want the girl to make the move first? <laughs> I'll, the I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest when I, I first started like talking to like girls. Um, all the girls made the first move. I didn't know when's the right time to kiss them or when's the right time to like hold their hand. Like my ex, it took me nine months just to kiss her. Nine, nine months? months? Yeah, nine bitch. months of talking to you. That's crazy. Just to kiss her on the lip. How old were you? I was a little 16, 17, right? Uh, I feel like I'm confident enough to understand the moment and if, if it's the right moment to make the first move. But it is always nice if the girl, you know, hints at it at least, you know? Because yeah. it's it's tough for a guy to like make the first move and then the girl's like, oh, what are you doing? And then it's like awkward, yeah. like, oh, shoot. I can't really consent. I don't want her to make yeah. the first hint, but I'll make the first move. Oh, that's, that's not bad. What do you consider cheating? Oh, another man's dicking you? <laughs> oh shit. Um, this dishonesty about another man. Having really? priority over you, even a guy best friend, bro. Yeah. That's cheating. Like she's flirting with another guy, but doesn't do anything. Is that considered cheating? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Want to be dominant in the relationship, or have your partner be dominant? Yeah. Both. Balance. Both. Balance. I say there's uh, a balance. balance. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, what do you guys, what do you guys think dominant means? Being controlled. Yeah. Like taking the lead? Like, I don't like the words like being in control of the relationship. Yeah, I don't be like There's taking the lead. Yeah. Because I, I do like, you know, to be dominant, but what do you I, I don't want to like control her. That's and not what I want to do. It depends on the situation. Like, I, I enjoy like paying for her dinners. I enjoy, you know, making sure that she's financially secured and whatnot. And also in bed as well. What would you do if your girlfriend sends you a sexy pic while you're with your friends? We break that walking cook. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta use the bathroom. Uh, they gonna, they're gonna be like, let's say there's like six of us, they're gonna be seven because my little brother up here, right? They gonna be moving around. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. Oh, my fault. Call your fault. dick little brother, bro. That's my son. My fault. Dang, your brother. That's your son. Would you allow your partner to touch your body parts to express affection? Yes. 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 Oh, for yes. sure. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. No consent needed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just my love language. My love language is about physical. Just do it. How would you feel if your partner had a strict family? Oof. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm a rebel. It's tough, but you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I've always wanted to like sneak through a window into a girl's bedroom while her family's like sleeping. I've never done that before. That'd be yeah, that'd be cool. Like Especially if it's like a two-story building or a two-story oh. house, and I have to like climb a ladder or climb a tree. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's romantic. Yeah, something. You have the radio. You Are you like? I would love to do that. You play your own music. <laughs> I've always wanted to like do something like that. Yeah, like outside her window, throw a rock and then play music. What would you do if you went to your girlfriend's house? With a speaker and you threw a rock at her window, um, and you sing her a song, 
and she was with another guy. Throw the whole ass <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll never talk to her ever again. I'll piss on their fucking. No, I'll play the song. I'll take a fat shit in one. I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. He said he'll um, play a different song. I'll play a different song. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. We're leaving back to our families tomorrow. So I'm going to miss everyone here. And I want to film some videos so that I have something to edit for when I get back and something that I can post for you guys, even if I'm not with the boys. But it's all good because we're all going to come back together January 3rd and we're going to be coming back with the best content ever. So hope you guys are excited for that. We love you guys. Stay positive. Stay awesome. And like Kane would say, stay crazy. Stay Bye -bye. weird. Bye. How do you say thank you? Arigato. Arigato. Say loyal. Say loyal. Say loyal. Fuck you. Fucking pumpkin. Dude, this new cane is crazy, bro. I like it. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you would have never said that in the past, bro. You were not like this back then. You were not like this back then. Fucking dumbass. Fucking shit. I can't ever say fucking shit. Alright. I woke up, I swear that you're different. I tell the moon and stars all about you. No text or call that I miss you. Cause I swear the girl, you're different. Hold up, I swear when you're gone. Stop! Oliver Boy! I need more footage, man. <laughs> I need more footage, man. <laughs> 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 <laughs>